So it might be way too early to show you guys this, but I've popped on a sample from the new Slinky Bikini Collection that's going to be launching in the next couple of months. And I thought this looked really like country vibes, you know, with the little gingham print and then with the little uh, gum boots and socks. So I took this opportunity to take a few little sneaky uh, bikini selfies. So Slinky has always been sort of... I guess like neutral, like white in tone and stuff like that. But we're bringing out a few colors and this really cute bikini is one of them. What do you guys think? adventure you join us today in Corumban Valley we've just got to our next Airbnb and it is the Hillview Homestead Dairy it is a hundred year old dairy which has been transformed into like a rustic Airbnb and it is absolutely incredible Okay, we have come to the Hillview Dairy, which is in, I think it's called Corumban Valley, which is just past Talabajadera. Talabajadera? I don't know how you say it. Ta I don't know how you say it. It is time for one of Piers' totally awesome, super amazing house tours. Hang on, I've got to knock the door. Oh, hi, Pierre. <laughs> So this is called the Hillview Homestead Dairy and it's actually an old dairy from 1905 that's recently been renovated to make it this incredible rustic dream basically. It's, it's really insane. I did not expect it to look like this when I when I arrived outside. I know. As always, I always think the photos are like just of the good angles, but I've just walked through here and Everything is breathtaking and so well done. It's just incredible. So you walk through this really authentic door here. The first thing you see when you pull up are a bunch of beautiful long-haired horses. And then you come into this space here, which is like your main living space. You've got a couple of couches, these beautiful butterfly chairs, and the creme de la creme of the room, the fireplace. So we will definitely be putting that on later. It's kind of warm today, but I feel like tonight it might chill down enough to have a little little cozy romantic fire. Well, I saw there's some marshmallows over there, so I think we oh. can do like the marshmallow on the fire thing. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Notice these? Yes, PR. You have got good taste. <laughs> I just bought these for our place, and now I've come in here and been like, see? They look really good. They do look good, right? I love these little, this tap. It's so cool. It's like... I don't know, maybe this is how they did it back in the day, but it doesn't look like a regular tap. It's just like real farmyard style. Yeah. <laughs> and one thing that's really interesting that Kane pointed out is this piece of art is actually hiding a TV. Yeah, look, they've put the TV back there, which is cool. And they've just hung this over it. So if you want to watch a movie or something, you just remove the artwork. But it's good because it makes it look more like a regular farmhouse yeah. without a massive LED TV right there. That's so clever. Like, what a great way to cover up sort of the, like, modern appliances. So the cool thing is, when you're, like, sitting here, you're overlooking this view. And, like, this is, I guess this is the homestead. There's a bunch of animals and horses and a baby cows. And check out this massive swing. There's a pony. Look. Look, look, look. <laughs> or it's a baby horse. I don't know. I think this might be my favorite part of the whole place. The swing. It's just, why is it so wide? I love it. This is it, it's it's not massive. It goes from there right the way to there. And it's kind of one bedroom on that end, one bedroom on that end, and the living area in the middle. That bed, I need to jump up into this. <laughs> yeah, that's why they've got that little bench there. Is this my step ladder to get yeah. in? <laughs> <laughs> look at this beautiful barn door here. Oh my gosh. So it's... I think someone here is doing the drawings as well. Because all around the property, there's these little illustrations. Yeah. And they've got little sayings on them. But I don't know who's doing them. Or maybe you can buy them or something. They're so pretty. Look at that horse. I know, they're really good. This is what I love, right? If this was our house, we'd have a little candle or something by the side of the bed. They've just got a load of nuts and bolts. <laughs> It's like... Perfect. Bedside table decoration. Yeah, I think it's cool though. Like, they're really just giving a little head nod to the to the history of this building. And look at that. There's a bird's nest. <gasps> oh, cool. You've got a bird's nest. What's that? Yeah. 
The details here are just incredible. Look how cool this bathroom is. It's like there's not even a roof. It's just corrugated, clear. Wait, so the, no, but it is waterproof. Yeah, of course, but it's clear. Yeah, right. So you've got all this beautiful sunshine streaming in. And then look at this bath. It's like right in the middle of everything. This beautiful curtain. And check that out. All right, can you turn it on real quick? I mean, that's cool, right? Very cool. <laughs> it's kind of unusual because you've got a sink there for like brushing your teeth and then this massive workbench. Yeah. But this isn't the kitchen, this is like, I guess it's, it's the laundry. laundry behind here, yeah. But they've just oh hidden it all God. really well. So this bathroom, and it goes straight out yeah, of this balcony here where you just see all the palm trees. You've got an outdoor bath here if you want one, and then the fire pit. So on the other end of the living room, you come through here and it's just as regal, you just don't have the ensuite. It's actually the same size bedroom. Yeah, it mm. is, of course it yeah, is. Yeah, it's almost identical. Yeah. The one thing that I haven't really focused on yet what? is the view. Like beyond the animals and beyond this beautiful little property, look at the hills. I would say this is a pretty good place to be socially, socially distanced if you needed it. <laughs> Have you guys noticed that all the places we're staying in this big Aussie adventure are like quite remote and I think we're just, at the moment we're really enjoying country life. <laughs> well we've got to be smart with it actually, uh, all joking aside the pandemic has started to take a major uptick here in Australia. It is in Victoria which is two states away so it goes Victoria, New South Wales and then Queensland's up here and that's where we are. So right now we have one new case in the whole of Queensland which is really really great however things can change quite quickly mm. so we're we're gonna we're gonna play it by ear we really want to do this big Aussie adventure as, as best as we can but we might take it a bit slower than we originally were going to just in case like if there's a breakout in Brisbane we can't drive through there safely so we won't we won't put our own lives at risk and we don't want to be encouraging you guys to do an adventure that will also put your lives at risk as well so we're trying to we're trying to do it sensibly and responsibly but right now there's no one around so we're good yeah that's why we're trying to find properties like this that are like really cool unique gems but they're not in the middle of the cities and mm. stuff like that so it's a little bit of an alternate way to go and you know explore australia i guess and i've definitely never seen any of these kind of properties before so it's super interesting for me because we've done up the coast of queensland before and we will do that as well but coming to these little gems right now just feels right yeah also when you book an airbnb you don't typically see the owner either like the owner has left us this little note that just says dear Pia very warm welcome from the Williams family but we're I don't think we're actually gonna meet anyone we're not gonna see anyone so if you do want to socially distance and you know have a little getaway it's actually pretty good see this is the kind of pony you wanted to ride at that right? right so my legs could <laughs> I could sit on that and my feet would be on the ground his, his feet would go <laughs> this says carrots for horses. Oh yeah, so that's not for horses. That definitely is not human food. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but is it like for your pets? Because they're pet friendly? Oh, well, let's go see. Alright. If I lose my hand, we know why. <laughs> You're getting very comfortable with this kind of lifestyle, aren't you? I'm a, a wild kind of guy now. A wild kind of guy? <laughs> 
we're just we're just approaching dusk now so we put the lights on there isn't much light in this apartment i must admit it's really a, a nice moody vibe this is pretty much as light as it's going to get tonight romance very romantic so we're definitely going to need to get this fire on yeah do you want to do that now yeah here we have some fire lighters. Oh, you're cheating. No, <laughs> I'm just using the tools that I have at my disposal. I thought you were going to no, use No, this it. is great. Look, she's left like newspaper, fire lighters, long tongs. Okay, cool. So my plan is just to pop one of these in the middle there and it's already been prepped with kindling. I'm just going to pop that in there. Do you reckon just one or two? Maybe one in there too. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get this long lighter and go... So do we shut this door? Yeah. All right. Wow, well, that was easier than I thought. I think that's literally it. Just bear in mind that, you know, if you come to places like this, it's a good idea to do a little bit of a shop and get yourself some fresh groceries <laughs> so that you have something to eat. There's like basics in the pantry and all that that you can use, but like an actual meal, I don't know. Uber probably comes here. <laughs> I don't think it does. We're about... 35 minutes outside of the Gold Coast, like inland. So I don't think there'll be much Uber around here. I, actually, there won't be Uber because I haven't even got any signal on my phone. <laughs> yeah, so I'm <laughs> definitely no Uber. Salad and falafel and stuff. She's gone all out. She's got all the appliances. It's weird that it's called Smeg. Why? Well, it's Smegma. <laughs> you know, that's not a word. That's just a word that you made up. No, <laughs> I definitely think that's a thing. Uh -oh. I'd never heard anyone say it before, you. <laughs> <laughs> that makes out like I've got it. <laughs> Pia is cooking falafels. They're vegan falafels. Of course they're vegan falafels. All falafels are vegan. Oh, really? They're zucchini falafels, and I'm just going to make a nice big salad for us to go along with it. And then we've got some like hummus and red dip and all sorts of like yum sauces to go with it. I'm very excited. It's a good dinner. The other thing that I'm going to try and do in a moment is we've got a little bit of a fire set up here. And I think I'm going to light it. After dinner, we're going to have marshmallows on the fire outside, which is going to be super cool. So all in all, this is turning into a super romantic evening. Guess what I got? What have you got? What is that? <laughs> sea salt caramel lint chocolate to go with our marshmallows for dessert. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Let's skip dinner and go straight to the no, marshmallows. No, no, salad first. <laughs> if we don't charge the car tonight, we're not getting home tomorrow. So I'm just going to go plug the car in. Solar powered. You're literally using the sun to power your car and live in here tonight. How good is that? Yeah. Okay, so we're having falafel with a huge amount of salad. <laughs> that's <laughs> a lot of salad actually. Oh my goodness. I know. With hummus, tzatziki, and like capsicum cashew dip. Nice. So Mediterranean vegetarian dinner. I love it. We're gonna go sit here, put on some music, and just enjoy the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. How was your dinner? Oh, so good. I'm ready for the chocolate. We need to start the fire outside if we're going to do chocolate. Yeah, do you want to? We need to melt the marshmallows. She's stopped freaking out about all the horses outside. <laughs> Finally, it just took seven hours. I think she just wants our undivided attention. And yeah. whenever she doesn't have it, she has like a little, you know, hissy fit. Look at how cool this place looks at night time. We haven't even turned the TV on this evening. We've just been chilling. Just chilling, talking, enjoying the atmosphere. It's been good. What happened to all the stuff? It's all in the fire. Did you use it just for this? Yeah, look at how it's roaring. <laughs> I got it going good. How are we gonna light the outside fire? I don't know. Okay. All right, Peter is going for this. Are you lighting the fire lighter? Oh, you've done it. Oh, this is good, Peter. Well done. 
So we have good news and bad news, guys. <laughs> the good news is we've got the fire going. <laughs> it's roaring. And the bad news, Pia? I think Kane just threw the sticks in there that we're supposed to stick the marshmallows on to roast them with. I think that's 100% accurate. <laughs> 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 and we'll just have to use our fingers. <laughs> you first. That looks, that is, that looks disgusting, babe. I'm it's very you. appetizing. Just eat it. Stop playing with your food. No, I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. And I know there's so much more to this life, but it's hard to see it clearly. Try my best, but nothing turns out right. God, I need you now. Are you ready for bed, Muesli? <laughs> oh, she's actually getting in. <laughs> oh, she's coming under. Can you help her get under? Can you get under? Next Here we go. One. Under the next one. Here we go. <laughs> under this one. Alright. She's trying to get warm. We'll see, we'll see you in the morning, yeah? <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, music shake. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you later. Good night. Good morning, Pia. Good morning, baby. Did you sleep well? Oh my god, this is the dreamiest bed. I know, right? Mm, it got quite chilly last night because the fire is in that room, mm. not in this room. But they have a heated blankie under here, and I've never slept in a heated blanket. No, neither. It was so good. It is so nice. Look at the view. Waking up and looking at that is pretty special. Hello, guys. Please, please give me a like on this video so Daddy can keep paying for my snacks. <laughs> way too early to show you guys this but I've popped on a sample from the new slinky bikini collection that's going to be launching in the next couple of months and I thought this looked really like country vibes you know with the little gingham print and then with the little uh, gum boots and socks so I took this opportunity to take a few little sneaky uh, bikini selfies so slinky has always been sort of I guess like neutral, like white in tone and stuff like that. But we're bringing out a few colors and this really cute bikini is one of them. What do you guys think? So how much is this place per night here? Oh, I don't know. I think like 390 or so. But obviously prices always change depending on like peak times and stuff like that. But I think it was a little bit cheaper and then because she's just created a pool, yeah. she's made it a little bit, little bit more expensive. It's off peak. I know it looks like summer right now and it kind of is to most English people like me, but this is winter. It's going to get significantly hotter. So it's, I think it's three ninety five now. Yeah. But obviously during summer it will go up. But that is for. <laughs> it's so weird that you're pointing it at me in a bikini, going, "This is winter." Mm. See the woolly socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has two bedrooms. So there's one bedroom there, and then another bedroom through here. So personally, I think for four hundred bucks a night for four I think people. That's very cheap here yeah that's really good it's really luxurious too like only the best sort of like soaps and mm. bath accessories really incredible high quality linens all that sort of stuff does this get your five paws of approval <laughs> yeah it does good girl completely recommended by muesli i saw in the papers that they are saying that um australia may not be able to fly internationally like to go on holiday for up to two more years. Um, I think the Aussies are very proud and conscious of how, in inverted commas, well we've dealt with the um, with the virus, and they don't want to let people go and travel and, and make it worse again. So um, yeah, this big Aussie adventure I think is coming at quite a good time for you guys because we've got a lot of tips of uh, really cool places that I think you're going to love coming up. So. If your summer holiday is, is due here in Australia, keep watching. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is, but 2020 has made us really crave this kind of lifestyle, you know, a little bit more space, that kind of natural environment. Honestly, waking up here this morning, it's like all you hear is birds and a creek and some horses and stuff like that. And it's just so different from what our life was like sort of in the middle of Sydney. Like Kane, Kane goes, uh, city life was so 2019. <laughs> the little things really make a big difference now. So I think like fresh air and trees and horses is yeah. like, wow. And I always, I would never go to a farm if you asked me this time last year. I'm like, nah, let's go to Coachella. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is actually like, it's different and I love it. I think we're growing up. Bye, Hillview Dairy. Thank you for an awesome stay. <laughs> Onwards with our next adventure. Hey.